before we begin. So I'd like to give a massive shout out to all the homies on Patreon who chose to support the cult and keep the lights on. If you want more information on how to support this channel and get your name up here with these fucking chads, check out the video description. Mother doesn't have too many abilities. However, the few that she does have does a ton of shadow damage. For that reason, everyone in your raid besides the three tanks will need shadow resistance for this fight. I suggest 244 buffed for the bare minimum and 300 to be a little safer. Anything more than that will result in a longer but safer fight. Linked above are two guides regarding shadow resistance done by both TSW and myself if you're looking for more information on the subject. The main ability is Fatal Attraction. It will teleport three random people, sometimes away from the raid, sometimes right on top of the raid. Whoever got ported will be chained together until you three break the chains by running in opposite directions away from each other. This does a ton of damage and is the main reason why you're wearing shadow resistance. You can pop hellstones, potions, and even rocket boots to get out of there fast. There's a weak order that will tell you literally which way to run so you guys don't run together. I'll link it in the description. The boss will also cast four different beams, each of them dealing shadow damage, of course, however, each acting in their own ways. One does burst damage, one is a dot, one drains mana, and the last one does some damage, but also throws you way up in the air. To help with the knock up, you can place your raid underneath the fish or underneath these lantern things that like hold up this little fucking light thing, and then they'll act as a ceiling. So then when you get knocked into the air, you won't fly as high. Lastly, periodically, she will silence everyone within 18 yards for three seconds. The tanks do not need shadow resistance because Mother will be hitting them with Saber Slash, which divides the damage between the three of them as well as grants them immunity to fatal attraction. It's important that the tanks stack on top of each other in the beginning to share this cleave, otherwise one of the tanks will die and it will be a wipe. Stack pixel tight. To close, she has these prismatic auras that make her weak against the school of magic, but at the same time making her resistance to the opposite school. Not a big deal, but helpful for some to track, so a weak aura will be in the description. Also, you can reset this boss by running back to where you came from. Good luck. Peace.